Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And last week or week before, I made this little bitty box for a candle, and these are holes in it. So we're going to make one that's three by three today. I'm going to grab this uh, ellipse tool. I'm going to draw a circle and make it 0.35. And I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. So we're going to use a lot of tools in this. Control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the shift key, we're going to expand that out, and we're going to make this 0.45. My ratio is locked, so it did it evenly. I'm going to grab that, Control G, and group it together. Then I'm going to set my nudge distance on. So this thing is 0.45. We're going to change the nudge factor to 0.425. Now we're going to grab that. We're going to Control D and make a duplicate. Control D. Grab the center one again, control D and move it over, control D. Now we can grab all of them, control D, control D. Grab the center again, control D, control D. Now we need to grab all these and break them apart. Ungroup them all. So we have that 3.5 circle. We need to get rid of all the 3.5 circles. So we're going to go to edit. Find and replace. We're going to hit step and repeat. Edit, find and replace. We're going to edit the query. I'm going to double click on the ellipse. I'm going to set, I've already set it at 0.35 by 0.35. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit find all. It found all my ellipses. Now you have to, well, I should have set my nudge factor on four inches. So let's do this again. Find all, and I'm gonna get X out of the program for this to move it over. So now, those are out of the way, I can, whenever you have that problem, just don't grab it all. And I'm gonna weld this. Then I can put this right back. So now we have continuous circles. They're gonna have rings and we'll cut out Later on, we're going to have to cut a little tabs, but I'm going to show you a neat little trick. So we're going to nudge this back over, and we need to measure before we forget anything with the parallel dimension tool from that center to that center is 4.25, which what we nudged it. So we're going to take the any of them, but we're going to take the center one. We're going to draw a star. We're going to hit... Well, let's do this. Let's move this out of the way. And let's control G, group them together and hit P. Then we can hit this P and we've got a star in the middle, but our star is not in the middle because the star doesn't work. So change the star to a six sided star and hit P. And then you can go back to a five. Now we've got these edges and I'm going to just cut off the edges with the virtual segment delete key. And you can make your star any size you want. Then I want to go inside and break these parts so the wood will cut through and just the star will show. Now, the laser doesn't really care that these are broken lines because it's going to cut it anyway. But we're going to grab the shape tool and then hold down the shift key and grab. I need to ungroup it. Hold down the shift key and grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, and grab that. And then engulf it all. Go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves. 0.01 and hit apply. Now we have smooth corners. <clears throat> now we can just take that single one and you didn't really have to probably make all those circles, but we're going to hit P and put this in the center of the page. Now we're going to put our new star in the center of the page and see what we have. We have a star inside that circle. Now we're going to change our nudge factor to point, point 0.425. We're going to control D and make a duplicate of that guy. 
Control D and make a duplicate. Go back to the center, Control D, put a duplicate. Now that we've got all these, we can select them. Control D, Control D. I don't know what I hit. Now we can grab the center. Whenever you do that, it's because you've grabbed the box. Just grab outside the box, Control D and move it up, Control D and move it up. So now you have a star pattern, but that's going to, if you cut this out right now, it would all fall out because everything would fall out. So we need the size of our entire shape, which is 2.15. So we're going to make a rectangle that is 2.05, let's say. I've got my ratio lock, so it ought to work. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. That's a little bit too much. So I'm going to go 2.1. And that'll work. So now what I'm going to do, and this is pretty easy, just take your virtual segment delete key and delete that corner. Delete that corner. Delete that corner. Let me zoom in. Delete this corner. And what you're doing, you're allowing the wood. We can just take that box away. Now you always want to use a smart fill tool to see what it's going to look like. The smart fill tool is going to act like the wood. So this is what it's going to look like. The smart fill got into every place it's going to be. And that's going to be a pretty cool design. This is holding it from falling out of the wood. And it's plenty of big. So then, if you haven't watched my videos on how to put the tab in, it's there's a video on that. But that's a pretty cool design. Now, just to make it a little bit... I would go with that, but let's control G and group it together. Let's just play around. Let's get the envelope tool. Let's grab that center one and put it like right to there. Look what it did. It, it made this, it kind of a unique shape. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna use that, but that's something totally cool. And you could actually put something down here if you wanted to. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.